Hello, my Global Echelon family. I hope this last week you have found my new blog, The Galactics. Of course, that's our conversation today. Hi. I love the picture that we chose of looking up at the Milky Way, at the beautiful starlit night. And even if you live in cities and you don't see that with your outer eye, when you look at that, um, coming from me on the computer, I hope that it will take you there. It can imprint. So when you see that on the uh, internet, imprint that right away and then superimpose yourself there looking up at the sky. You know, this is the moment, this is the time on our planet that we have to change a lot of our thought forms, a lot of our belief systems. And one of the ones that we've always had is this idea of looking down. If you look down, then um, you are not egotistical. You are basically ashamed of yourself. You are less than the other. We look down when we pray. And this needs to be erased. Uh, why can we not look directly or, again, above? Look above. Look up. Uh, look up to the, to the sky. I know that many religions feel that this bowing of the head is a sign of respect. But we can respect from a place of equality. We can respect from a place of connection, of communion, rather than that totem pole, um, shame or less than or any of those conversations. In some cultures, because of the ideas of men and women, we can't look each other in the eye. Uh, so therefore, <laughs> look up. Uh, actually, we can. We need to change those things. Imagine that if in cultures where women uh, have to look down, began to look directly into the eyes of, of men, of people in power, um, it would automatically, without words, begin to shift our relationship and bring it into a place where uh, we are saying, listen to me, look at me. I am looking at you and I see you. And this could change behavior. Uh, cultures need to change. They change too slowly. So I know that I said that in my uh, Evolution, of Bo <laughs> Evolution of God book. Uh, look up. When you pray, look up. I, I, when we look up, it allows for this a connection of the cosmos to bring down to us it, it gives us that magnetism to pull down to us, to anchor the sky, the energies that are above us, the energies that could support us. So we are inviting a, 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 an expansion, an expansion of our world, of our consciousness, of our way of being. And that's what we need to do now. And so I love that picture of looking up into the sky and as I was saying last week, looking up into the sky and knowing that those constellations are there even now, I, even if we can't see them in the daytime. And isn't that a metaphor for what is there that we cannot see with our outer eye, but we can see with our third eye, we can see with our imagination, we can see with our frame of reference. Come, sweetheart. Um, and uh, this changes our sense of self. So we galactics is a part of that theme. That if we can expand, not to say, well, humans aren't good enough or I have to be special. Um, let us not fall into that trap. But let us enter into the glorious ex experience of connection, of belonging to something without end. Because... Our consciousness is without end. Our soul is without end. Our bodies um, will end. But in our lifetime, let it be that our bodies pass, that they are shed through our choice, through grace, uh, through gratitude, never illness or accident or age. But rather, um, I go to the next octave. And so uh, we as agents of change, in this world today must be able to uphold to look up and to get others to look up and hold within their consciousness a new world coming 
a new world coming because of us. And we need to pass that down generation to generation, pass it down to our children, our grandchildren, to all the children of the world, all the new beings, whether they are four-legged, winged, <laughs> fish, two-legged, that energy that we carry uh, around us and within us, that um, we are creating something new that brings about uh, a time of peace. It has always been prophesied that we were coming into the age of Aquarius, uh, an age in which there could be peace. The lion can lie down with the lamb. This is possible. And it would only be possible because of us. So when I do this blog and begin this book, We Galactics, my idea is not, oh, the galactics will fix it. Yes, they know how to fix our energy, to have 0% energy waste. Uh, they know how to travel amongst the stars. Not all of them know how to be peaceful. There is something that our human heart can pass to, to some galactic groups. But as we connect to them, we can begin that process of recognizing. Just as when you grow up, suddenly you are on equal footing to your parents. And then as they get older, you become the parent. Uh, all of these things need to be moved around so that we honor, we honor uh, each and every being for all of the qualities, for all the experiences of their souls uh, in body in this third dimensional world. So um, let us begin to touch that galactic energy. We have opened our galactic DNA before. Uh, I hope that you're gonna join me in Sedona. I have two choices, two times, October, November, when we are going to go right into uh, those experiences to anchor very powerfully uh, the third dimensional experience and expression of that connection so that we can utilize it in a very conscious way. Right now, it's true of all things. We must begin to know it. We must begin to dream it. And as we dream it, it takes shape. And as you well know, many of your dreams uh, begin one way and manifest in another. This is fine. This, is, this allows for the life force that we are stimulating, activating, to take on its own pathways. What is the best way for it to be expressed or to be utilized? So uh, today, let us, as we draw in the white light, knowing that it's coming from the infinite cosmos, uh, that we lift our heads to that. So lift your heads, close your eyes, Take a deep breath, and this is important to breathe. A deep breath, it's like clearing the slate, opening the windows to the sky. Once more, a deep breath. Draw the white light from the cosmos down through the top of your head. And extend it out through your solar plexus back into the sky. And as you do that process of allowing it to come in and extending it back, expanding, feel yourself expanding with it, that your consciousness can now embrace what was not there for you before or hidden from you. And that as you extend the white light back into the cosmos, you become really the light of the stars, the light of the cosmos. Once more, draw it down through your brain, into your solar plexus, and laser it back into the sky. And take a deep breath and just sit for a moment and feel your body taking in that quickening that light brings to us. And open your eyes. When we think of galactic energy or cosmic energy, we, we know that it is faster than the speed of light. I remember being taught about negative space-time about 50 years ago and how um, that negative space-time ha had to have something to do with the speed of light. Can something be faster than the speed of light? Um, or a different kind of, 
um, radiant force that um, offers up different avenues for us. We want to be able to now call in that energy, that galactic energy, so that we can, just by calling it in, titulate in a way, stimulate our galactic genetic encoding so that it begins to manifest itself in ways. As I said before, it isn't that the galactics are going to come and free us from our difficulties. It's that when we connect with cosmic energies, with imagine like civilizations, thousands and thousands and thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years more advanced than ourselves. And then that connection will allow energies that correspond to each one of us, whatever your qualities, whatever uh, your uh, purpose in life, the gifts that you've come, they, can, they will be amplified and awakened by linking up with those. So then it becomes yours. That's what happens when uh, we get a genius idea, a new idea. Does, is it ours? Not really. But it's something that comes in and creates a bonding that, that opens up new possibilities. And so we need that right now. Again, so that by taking in energies, they, be, they, they align with us. We come up with the solutions. We lift into these galactic frequencies. You've heard me talk about clearing, healing, and freeing the angels before. But what happens when we do that? When we allow them to evolve because they're caught in their contracts, their karmic contracts with us, they're not evolving, they're not expanding. Um, but when we free them, what happens is there's, a, there's an activation, a pouring in of their energy into us, and we begin to take on those qualities. What are those qualities? Um, Non-interference, uh, unconditional love, profound compassion. Uh, peace, 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 love. The same is true of galactics in a different way. I know that you might not think of galactics as being loving. And they're, because they're more collective in their consciousness, their expression of love might be very, very different than our own. But there it is. So let us now uh, create again, uh, or for the first time, a spin point that will open up these energies that we're saying yes here's the trick we have the power of choice free will now, this is true on our planet and perhaps in our entire solar system these are laws of energy exchange let us use our free will to say yes and to allow these energies to come in for one thing if you are looking up at the galaxies, at the constellations, at the sky, the, the smallness of your life begins to dissolve away. You can feel the peace because you connect with something larger than you. But the, that means that you too are larger than you thought you were. So let's create that spin point that says yes, uh, so that we can be true agents of change because of our expansion of consciousness. Close your eyes, breathe deeply into your body, and ask your higher self to touch your body, to create a spin point that matters not where it is, a spin point in your body that will magnetize galactic energies. And of course, these are positive galactic energies, ones that belong to you, true ones of advanced energetics that are without smallness or separation or jealousy or negativity. So breathe deeply. Where does your higher self touch your body to create this spin point? Wherever it appears, focus on that touch of your higher self. Just imagine that you're being touched there. And through that touch, there's an activation. 
spin point, drawing in galactic energies and consciousness to support your life, to help you to be bigger in your consciousness, cosmic consciousness. Breathe into that and just imagine. For you, it might feel like light pouring in or, or particles or pulses or liquids. Breathe in and feel that that spin point is already drawing galactic energetics that belong to you. And open your eyes. And as you open your eyes, yourself in this body, carrying that galactic energy, that cosmic energy that can lift you, that can allow you to remember to look up and see even what cannot be seen. And as you look up, feel that energy flowing into your spin point. I recommend that you practice this many times during this week. Look up, think of your spin point, and open and feel cosmic energies pouring into you. You don't have to contemplate anything else. Just allow those energies. Because alignment means that it will be comfortable, that it will be expansive, it will be uh, fresh and good, nourishing to you. And now, imagine that the entire world, more than seven, people, seven billion people are looking up, that they have forgotten, released the hanging of the head, and that they are looking up. And that looking up, they too are receiving that energy. So in your mind's eye, imagine an entire planet of humans looking up and then ask them what frequency of light they need from you to begin to, to do that, to look up, to find new answers, to feel within themselves the freedom to bring in new truths. What's the color? Draw that color from the cosmos down to the top of your head. Laser it out through your solar plexus to all of humanity. And again, feel that that color really helps them to, to hold that position of their head raised into the skies. Not simply searching for answers, but in looking up, allowing the magnetism of those answers, of those energies, to evolve us all. A little more color to them. And open your eyes. We are galactics, cosmic beings. We are humans. We are devics. We are angels. We have so much within our genetic encoding that allows us uh, permission, that allows us access to what, is, what we need to help our planet, our solar system, and to be our true selves. Until next week. <laughs>